this is Carrie O'Donnell from Tarot Soul Writer. If you would like a personal reading with me, please go to my website, tarotsoulwriter.com, and I'd be happy to do a reading for you. Thank you to all of my new supporters who decided to give me a chance. This is great. Yay! Uh, so wonderful to be reading for you. Thank you for your questions. I wrote them all down. I'm making a nice list. But I have to start with someone that no one asked about. Feeling a tremendous need to read on Putin. And what's coming up for Putin in July and Russia in July? I mean, there's a lot going down there. The first thing that I am getting is the Wheel of Fortune for him in the center. And I feel like this is karma coming back around to bite him in the butt. He's feeling that karmic wheel at this particular time, especially in the month of July. Karma is coming back to him. And I feel like his biggest challenge are his losses. This is his Five of Cups. This is about mourning. This is about his loss. He's not winning in the Ukraine. Now, he's lost the three cups. He still has two more. So in July, he still feels like he has uh, a rabbit under his hat or a couple of things under his sleeve. He hasn't, in his mind, lost everything, but he is really mourning um, his losses here. And I feel like just Russia itself is mourning. Mourning its dead. Mourning the young people. Um, Russia itself is not in a good place and this is his greatest challenge. So underneath the situation I do have the seven of wands reversed and this is when he's you know standing up for himself the people are coming after me um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna defend myself. This is like the defenses being down. All right the people are coming after me and they're winning. All right, so I am running out of a defense here. And since that's kind of what's underneath, I think that's what he's feeling. I think that was the whole thing with this, is it the, the Wagner group um, just moving in and um, saying, you know, we've had enough and we're going to come after you. There is a sense that he feels his defenses are down. For him, that's a dangerous place to be. That's one of the reasons I felt a need to read on him because if he's feeling that sense of being cornered or that his defenses were being breached in some way, we don't know how he is going to act. So that's where I get him as well. Um, recent past, we've got Judgment Day for him. Judgment Day. He knows this is the end and this is what I don't like because this is Armageddon, right? That's what this card is. It's symbolic. It's a metaphor. When we get the judgment card, depending on the question and the context, it can mean a variety of different things, none of which are literal. But I'm kind of getting a literal sense here, just a sense of what's recently behind him. You know, it's, it's judgment day for him. It's Armageddon. It's a sense that I'm going to be obliterated, that I am going to cease my idea of world domination is going to cease to exist. There is something here that he's feeling and it's as if he's feeling, well, if I am obliterated, I will take it all. Like that's, and we know that about him. He, that's the mindset of many dictators um, from the past. So it should come to, as no surprise to us. That doesn't mean he will be successful, but I do get, especially in July, he is going to be very dangerous. He's going to be very dangerous. All right. When I look up to um, what's coming up immediately, I do get the Queen of Pentacles reversed. He's going to be very insecure. There is uh, not many resources here. I'm getting moms or mothers just really being upset about their children going to war and not coming back. I guess what I'm getting with this card is the pressure. 
it's falling apart financially the people in his own country his own insecurities which he he's not going to consciously acknowledge that's what I'm feeling here in that month of July as we move into that month and sort of the long-term future I do get the eight of swords releasing himself from the trap He's trying to escape. He's trying to be free. He's, I actually get a bondage thing. A lot of times this card is self-sabotage. I guess you could make a case that he's brought himself to this point from his own actions or through his own actions and ignorance. But what I'm getting here is he's trying to avoid being captured. I think that's what I'm getting here. I'm avoiding being captured. I'm, I do not want to be in bondage or in jail. I'm trying to escape, which is interesting because that's what I had gotten for you know who, the uh, American ex-president who shall not be named. Very similar mindsets, I need to escape. But I, I think I see him here in July I just get he's getting weaker and he has a really dangerous mindset with that you know if I'm going down we're all going down mentality let me just use the deck of characters here and let me just look at how Putin is going to affect the world as a whole in the month of July. Got tears. So he is going to cause a lot of pain. He's still, and I asked about the world, so I'm going to assume that the Ukraine is going to be the majority of this, but I also feel in his own country there are a lot of tears shed here. It's tears for the dead. <laughs> that's what, that's the ghosts. How is he affecting the world? Tears for the dead. These are the helpers. When I get the elves, I get people or entities who are here to help. And I feel like in this particular case, the world is coming together. Right? Maybe separately, these little elves could be tricksters or have issues on their own. But together, I feel like the world, yeah, I feel like the world's coming together here to help something. To help something related to the tears that Putin has caused. And we're celebrating here. There is some sense of celebration. There's an attraction here. He's attracting. There's celebration in the world. <laughs> and jail. And bondage. All right, so we looked at how Putin saw things. That sense of, I'm a, I, this is judgment day for me. You know, they're, they're coming after me. I need to avoid bondage. Um, people are upset in my own country. And when I'm looking at the world, I get tears for the dead. I get the world coming together to help each other. I get celebration of some sort, like where we're dancing, we're celebrating, and that he's attracting jail or bondage in July. Now, I am not getting in these cards, especially I feel like the key is that attraction. He's attracting that. I feel like when we get to the end of July, Putin is going to be on the run. He's either going to be hiding or he's making a new plan to avoid capture. That's basically what I'm getting. I think that the upheaval in his own country is going to continue in the month of July. 
which is going to cause him to reevaluate who he is in a sense attracting or who is here around him um and we're happy about something if he's not actually captured or if we don't have him cornered in some way um at the very least at the end of the july at the end of july we're feeling good about having putin in a place in which he is contained in some way so this is good this is very good because i was picking up a lot of energy around him that just was extremely negative and i felt very dangerous for the world but i feel like this is good i feel that we're coming together somehow to corner this guy especially in the next month so that's my reading on putin don't forget to like and subscribe sign up for personal readings and i will see you in the next video bye bye